Welcome back to Bridgeburner 412 plays Bloodborne. We're doing a 100% walkthrough of the game, and we are ready to kick things off with the boss fight in the Forbidden Woods as we finish off this rather annoying area. Because I was lazy, I did not bring the elevator back up. don't need to go to the other shortcut. We can run down uh, this away. Plus there was one item we did not get, and it's the graveyard mask. And it's always bothered me that I don't remember how to get that. So I am going to to find how to get that. I probably should have looked it up. Uh, but I did see there was like a tree bridge here. Across. Uh, right here. And that might be how you get it. And um, that would be a big no. That was down to the space aliens. Here's our yellow spot where we take a turn. For better or worse. Might be this way. You might have to jump right there. And there it is. So we got the graveyard set, figured out, got that sorted. Awesome. Now we're on the other side of the snaky snakes. Um, and the piggies, so we're just going to sprint past the piggies. And I'm going to show you just run like a crazy man. Or person. Or girl. Or gal. Or guy. Or dude. Or dudette. And... Pass these fires. Pass the pig. Just keep on sprinting right past him. Go past him. Go past him into this area. And up here is the shortcut where we beat Snake Guy. That's where you would drop down if you remember. I've never seen the moon from here before. It's nice. Um, and with the exception of one or two bosses, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be defeating the bosses solo. Because um, it has occurred to me that maybe in your playthrough you've been running out of insight to pull people. So, um, you know, we'll go without any, any help from here on out. Um, there is one enemy that we're going to meet later that you will probably most likely want to spend your insight on because he's tough. Alright, so these are the shadows of Yarnum. Better check over my shoulder. There are going to be three of them. And it's a gank boss. You know how Miyazaki loves his gank bosses. Uh, one will have a katana that he will be killing you with. And once they hit transform mode, they will have like snake-like reach on their arms, so they will go for a long way. So, so one will have a katana, one will have a lamp that he will use to breathe fire on you, and then there will be another one shooting fireballs from the arena at you. So there's a couple different ways you can go about it. You can try to kill the three fireball guy first, which is tough to do because the other two come up and just pummel you. Um, so you can do it that way, or you can uh, try to kill Fire Breather guy first. I typically try to do Machete guy first because you can get some uh, gun parries off on him, thus the, the gun ready to go here. Um, but it is tricky. You just have to keep your wits about you as you play through. Uh, 
Okay. So here we go. We are going in. Let's see. What else do I need? Do I need anything else on my bar? Definitely don't need that. Don't need that. So in case things get spicy, I'll have the blood of Ariana. It's like a half heal uh, at this point. Maybe two-thirds heal at this point. And so without further ado, let's go in and get things started. So they just kind of show up. And there they are. So the guy on the right is our dude. You want to be using this as much as possible. Okay, there with the levels. Those famous Bloodborne levels. Again, Bloodborne levels. And the fireballs hit for quite a bit. And they are tracking fireballs. So, just dodge. Get your dodge on. Yeah, visceral. Hit him on the way by as well. So you see Katana Boy does some pretty good damage. Get caught in all the rocks and tombstones. There was the fire breath, which will also ruin your day. Visceral in there. Again, one of the one of the downsides of a strength build is that you will not have the visceral damage that you would have on a skill build. Why am I trying to visceral with this guy? He's level over here. Oh, oh. Okay, just use your environment. Make sure you're topped off in case anything bad happens. Transforming to snake mode. So now their reach will be much longer. So the guy with the fire breath and the fire katana. This guy. Just keep, keep wailing on. Okay, done. You now at this point, oh my gosh, this guy with this bullshit. Um, we'll start throwing snakes. You gotta run. You gotta run. You gotta dodge. that, you just get up on him, and just go to town, and Shadows of Yarnum are defeated, and we get the Blood Rapture Rune, which gives us visceral attacks that restore 200 HP when you do a visceral. If you're big on the visceral game, you might want to put that on your character. And yeah, Shadows of Yarnum, cross them off your list. Taken care of. So again, you just got to keep your wits about you. You know, take your shots when you can. Utilize this, this tombstone as much as that tombstone over there. Be conscious of your levels. Um, and take care of some business. Alright, we're going to head back to Hunter's Dream and we're going to we're going to hit a couple NPC things that we that we haven't done. Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and level here. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. And if you're having trouble, uh, you know, if you're having trouble with that boss, you know, take one of the take one of your helpers there that were available. And. Um, they can take some of the attention away from you while you just trace around the outside of the circle and just dart in, hit, and dart out. Okay, so we need to go to... back to the sick room, because we never talked to Yosefka. 
and uh, you need to talk to Yosefka to open up her deal so that she'll uh, be giving us one of the umbilical cords later as we progress through. So we need to stop in, chat with her a bit, um, and then uh, get her her uh, quest going a bit. So this is where we started the game, as you remember. We went down that way to beat the, the wolf. The very first part of the game. So you come up here. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. Mm -hmm. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Well, I've been doing it. Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Mm -hmm. Perhaps even cure them. Mm -hmm. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. Mm -hmm. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. All I want is your blood vial, lady. Tempted? Yes, I'm tempted. Well, if you find you can, please. Okay. So, now that will advance her little quest chain. If you don't do her little quest chain, then um, uh, it will, her the cord will not be available. Okay. So, that is done. Cross that off the list. You can actually send people to her clinic. Um... And we're going to go and send the cranky old man to her clinic. Um, I've never really been sure what that does exactly, to be perfectly frank. But since we're tying up loose ends here, so you go to Cathedral Ward. And to send him along, um, he, he actually doesn't believe you, so you send him to the other place, and he'll he'll go to the place you don't suggest. So here we are. There's Ariana. We're not going to take any more blood from her. Um, we're going to be going to the Hypogean Jail next, and we're going to be uh, getting a person to go there. But first, we're coming back around. This way. To go down to the little, the little town where we found Ariana, Lady of the Evening send her her angry neighbor hey you're supposed to just point at me and growl come on now just trying to let you live you're do trying to do your job I had to go and get in my business are you gonna give me some vials at least convenience or some bullets Okay, so we sent Ariana. Ariana was here, the Lady of the Evening. Oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with I'll have nothing to do with your beast, son. Okay. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Hey, boy. Well, her sort's probably just fixed in to feed some of your coin. <laughs> uh, all right. So you think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. Okay, I'm going to give you my best shot. So I'm going to tell her him of Erden Chapel, and he's going to go to Yosefka's <laughs> clinic. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outside is. Even their lies are predictable. Okay, so there he goes. He will be gone. So now, 
so we'll head back this away. Past our church guard who got in our way and realized what happens when you do such things. And now we're going to be going to Hypogean Jail. If you haven't gotten hit with the, with the sack to go there, what you need to do is come out of Cathedral Ward, come here around this carriage, and there's a guy with a sack hiding in that corner. And he'll come out and he'll hit you in the head. Oh, we haven't got the thing that's over there. Hey, take it easy, man. Standard strategy, red transformation, circle around, get the back visceral. If not, if you if you haven't been there yet, Conkalunked and kidnapped, uh, you let him kill you. Which is always irritating me in the game, let, let an enemy kill you in order to advance the game. But, you know, what can you do? It's not like you're not dying anyway, so... Um, back here and gonna head back to Hunter's Dream. Might as well dump a level in since we are um, since we got one from Tito. Fix my little stopwatch that I got going. Okay. Welcome. What is very well. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we have enough. Okay, so Hypogean Jail is where we are now headed. So we discovered it when we got conked in the head and killed by that beast in, or that sack man in the Forbidden Woods and our adventures in the Forbidden Woods. Here we are, if you remember what was going on here. So we're going to do a little bit of this. Um, do a little bit of this area. We're going to do the downstairs. So to remind you of where you got conked on the head, we were down here. And in this cell, we got conked on the head. This is where we awoke. So now we're going to clear out this little part of this area. Get your cold blood. Oh, we've got some cold bloods we could be using. Madmen toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon. Uncover their secrets. Cryptic note. Alright, now we want to put on... Um either black church garb or gas coins garb because she will not she will cower in fear from you unless you're part of the black church okay pick up the gold blood Save you. Give me your madman's knowledge. Thank my then. And so then the street perhaps do you know somewhere that might take me in? I do. Good oh, chapel. Thank you so much. Now you can get blood from I'll her. As soon as I can. Adela, I think her name is. I pray for success it's either Adela your or Kind Hunter. I think it's Adela. I don't think she will give you her blood as long as you have the prostitute's blood. The blood of Ariana. The Lady of the Evening. So she's going to sit out for there. She's going to be up there. So, she, yeah, she will also give you blood. Hers, I think, heals you, but it also... Um, 
I think it also uh, does like a heal over time. So this is the way to the uh, to the stairs, um, which I think we need to go now. I think we've hit everything that's here. I think that's all that's here. So we'll go up the stairs into here. All right. Um, so you see the witches there. You gotta run through and just try to head over here because they will and get your fast weapon on. Because they'll grab you with their ladle and they will take two-thirds of your health away. That ladle. those guys to death. Now there are two sack men around the corner over here. See one of them. I hear one clomping around. This door does not open from this side. Get our six blood vials. Um, what do we got? 14,000. So, uh, Dark Beast Parl is out there. What are we looking at on time here? We're 22 minutes. Um, there's other stuff up there to get. Um, torn about what to do. Well, maybe we'll make this a two boss episode. Um, Alright, so if we're going to do that, then we need to put on our lightning gear again. And... We're just going to run past the sack men. Bye, losers. Don't get caught in their little, their little spell. We just come right out the door here. Once you drop down, you're stuck. And you're here. You can get uh, someone to come join you. Defector on tall. If you're having some trouble. Um, basically, he's going to pop up and he's just a giant four-legged lightning monstrosity. Um, we're going to focus on the legs. Um, some people consider him one of the easiest bosses in the game. I seem to always manage to figure out a way to die to him, so we'll see what happens here. Once again, I'm not a great player. I am a competent player. So go for the legs. Knock him down. Just go to work on him. Kind of quick. That does lightning damage. Get on those legs. It's kind of tricky because you kind of don't know where he is. The camera boss is, is real in this counter. I'm having a hell of a time trying to heal. Yeah, so the biggest, biggest challenge of this guy is the camera. And obviously the lightning. You want to get behind him if you can. Visceral in. Take the opportunity to heal if you can. Back in lightning mode there. 
Dodge the blast. Get in on him. Just let your let your whirly gig do the work. And then we get the Spark Hunter badge. That will allow us to purchase um, that will allow us to purchase lightning or bolt paper from the bad dudes. Or not the bad dudes, the, the people in the little wishing well back at our see our little hats, our little messenger hats on our guys. So now we'll be able to buy uh, bolt paper. And I think it'll be available also uh, for insight. So let's run up there. And we'll go a little bit longer because th that went really fast. Um, and I want to sell bolt paper is now available for us. So we're going to Let's get three of those. Uh, we'll get three of those. Bolt paper is going to help us a lot in the game against certain enemies, the alien enemies. Um, we'll spend our echoes here. Welcome home. I think we'll get two levels. Very well. Let me. So yeah, um, Dark Beast Parl can be tricky. You have to make sure you are. Um, on your dodge game, your camera angle management. Farewell, good if hunt. you're having any trouble, you can May bring you Defector Antal there, and he'll world. he'll tank, and then you can just uh, maneuver around the back and destroy him from uh, from behind. All right, so we're gonna head back to Hypogean Jail and collect the rest of the stuff in that area. Yeah, so Dark Beast Parl is considered by many to be one of the easier bosses. I always have trouble because of the camera angle. Um, had I not switched to the Henrik gear, I probably would have died there a couple times because my health got pretty low. So our bolt defense is useful. Okay, you want to pull this guy back up here. And kill him up here on top of the stairs. Back smash. Bloodstone shard. And there's another one here. Now you want to try to fight him in this area here because there is a witch back there behind the pillar. So, and you know, they're pretty slow. As he kicks me in the face for half my health. Tracking. Okay, let's take care of them. Get the shards. And moon. So the moon rune we're actually going to be equipping because the moon runes increase the amount of blood echoes that you get. I think we get plus five for this first tier of moon runes. There's three tiers of moon runes. I think three. Um, 5, 10, and 15, I want to say. And of course, if you're a super superstar, you could equip all of them. Look at her there. Look at her there, just waiting. Just waiting to grab you. Get your pebble. Get your pebble. And head out the door. And we will be looking for some piggish. So there is a pig. Oop, wrong button. Oh, I'm not the wrong buttons, because that could lead to you being dead. There's another pig over there under a little overpass who we're going to, we're going to be killing soon enough. Um, back here is 
A wandering nightmare. So go ahead and take care of him. Back here, please. You are not allowed to run from me. You are give me your items. So twin shards. A lot of people clear this area as soon as they get conked on the head to get those shards. I find you get enough shards anyway. So here is the lamp. So it's unnecessary to, uh, to do it at this time. Uh, we are going to put on our bar some pungent blood cocktail. That is going to help us up here in a moment. Pungent blood cocktail again will pull enemies to where you throw it on the ground. Grab some frenzy cold blood here. I think that's all. This is an elevator that you cannot use at this point of the game. In fact, it's sort of a, just to show you that there is one there in this architectural layout. We're going to get in that in a minute behind Pigga. Behind Pigga. Um, I first like to take care of these dogs. Oops, I fell off. Now I can't take care of those dogs first. dogs. And they, as the dogs are wont to do, they like... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Piggy got involved. Piggy got in the mix. Run! Oh, Piggy. No, Piggy. Bad Piggy! Terrible. But we want that bolt paper, that's for sure. Okay. So everything I did there was wrong. What we wanted to do was roll onto that carriage and throw the punch of blood cocktail quite a ways away. So I'm one shot in those without the, the saw, so. So what you do is you jump there and you throw the cocktail over here. And you all kind of collect there and you jump down. And you can pretty much kill them a lot easier. And you can see, even at our level, if you get swarmed by the dogs, uh, you're dead. So. I've never found a compelling reason to come down here earlier, unless I think there's one here. unless you want the Tonitrus, which we're going to find right up here. So what you do for that is you just come up here, throw the cocktail, dodge Mr. Spicy, grab the Tonitrus, and then run away dogs will follow you. It doesn't hold them for very long. Um, in fact, they forgot I even exist. Which is good, so we're going to kill them anyway, because, you know, why not? They're annoying. This episode's a little bit on the longer side, but we got two bosses, so congratulations on two bosses. me. If that had hit me, that would have killed me. Not the direction I wanted to dodge. Yeah, to the side, to the side. But, new problem. Easily done. 
So the Tonitrus is a strength weapon. It has built into it lightning damage. If you two-hand it, it is very useful against especially one boss that we're going to come across here in, in a bit um, if you don't have the Whirly Gigsaw. Uh, we have the Whirly Gigsaw, so we're not going to be upgrading the Tonitrus because we have the Whirly Gigsaw. But here, I'll put it on just a, just a shoe. So, if you two-hand it, uh, if you two-hand it, it lights it up with lightning, and you can just go to town doing bolt damage without needing bolt paper. So it doesn't really do a formal two-handed, so your gun is always available. Um, but it'll do bolt damage, but it runs out pretty quickly, as you can see. So, and I think as you level Arcane, it'll do more uh, lightning damage. I think it's Arcane. Might be Strength. Get your Argol Black gear. Come up and get all these Madmen knowledge. Madmen's knowledge. It's another item over here. So, if you look at. Um, if you look at the weapon here, it does bolt attack 40. So that's why some people use it. Um, it's a to be honest, a pretty boring weapon. But uh, if you don't have the Whirly Gig Saw, by all means, uh, you might as well utilize it. Okay, and there's one little area further fully clear out Hypochian Jail to get all of the stiff in our 100% walkthrough. Okay, there's a couple dogs that Sackman has here. You want to go far away from Sackman. A little tricky killing Sack Man in here. Wish we does that crap. Just try to maneuver him to a way that you can get behind him. Well, if you're hitting him here, often he'll back up against this, and then you can't get around the back for the backstab visceral. Just utilize your space. Come down here. Grab the item here. Grab the item here. Open our door. And this is at the bottom of the area. Pick up your pebbles. This is at the bottom level again. So this is where the steps are. You can hear the you can hear the thing, the lamp. So we've cleared all this out. A little bit turned around. Here we go. So where we cleared out all the stuff, back at the lamp, and return to the hunter's dream. That is where we will pick up next time, friends. So, a lot of work done today. We got the Shadows of Yarnum knocked out, um, and the Hypogean Jail, and Dark Beast Parl. So, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time as Bridgeburner412 plows through Bloodborne in our 100% walkthrough.